<laughs> this rock is reserved for me! Almighty Naruto, the fifth Hokage! <laughs> Naruto again? Enough with the stupid pranks. Looks like he drew his own face this time. Oh, that disrespectful little... Look at that. I can't believe they let him graduate from the academy. Our hidden leaf ninja have really gone downhill. Is he okay? I mean, think about what he is. Don't even go there. Oops. Uh, sorry. Ah, shut up already! <sighs> what are you doing? How big a fool are hey, you? Hey, Hiruka Sensei! Hey, Hiruka Sensei! <laughs> Naruto, you just graduated. Why would you do that? Well, I thought it was a nice way to commemorate my graduation, you know? <laughs> <sighs> you erase all of that graffiti right now! <laughs> I'm going! Unbelievable. You're about to become a Genin, you know? I'm worried about your future. <laughs> this is the last day you'll have to worry about me, Iruka Sensei. Huh? Check this out. From now on, I'm gonna work my butt off to become Hokage. Uh, <sighs> and I'm gonna surpass all the Hokage before me. <laughs> Naruto. What are you talking about? Becoming Hokage is not as easy as you think. <laughs> Just watch me, Iruka Sensei! <sighs> Where does all that confidence come from? I'm gonna work my butt off! You'll see! Good grief. The village hidden in the leaves, in the land of fire. Therein lived a young boy named Naruto Uzumaki. As an infant, he had lost both parents, and the nine-tailed fox spirit had been sealed inside of him. His dream, as he grew up in the village, was to one day become the Hokage. Time passed and Naruto graduated from the Ninja Academy. Together with his rival, Sasuke Uchiha, and his childhood crush, Sakura Haruno. Naruto became a member of Team Seven, a squad led by Kakashi Hatake. His life as a ninja had at last begun, or so he had thought. In order to test their strength as ninja, Kakashi summoned Naruto and the others to the training field. The purpose of this exercise is to test your strengths. The point isn't whether you win or lose. <laughs> Try not to get in my way, you screw up. You get in my way, Sasuke! Let the battle begin! <laughs> Fireball! <laughs> 
Having proven their strength and teamwork, Naruto and the others became official members of Team 7. Facing mission after mission, the trio began to show the signs of experience. At last, they were given their highest ranking mission to date, a C-rank mission. Naruto was overjoyed. However, upon reaching their destination, the Land of Waves. They were instead attacked by Zabuza of the Seven Ninja Swordsmen and Haku, user of the Ice Style. It was the first time he'd come face to face with a life and death battle. Naruto and Sasuke fought hard against the more skilled Haku. Don't get careless, screw up. His speed is incredible. I shall achieve my goals. You two must die. No way! There's no way I'm gonna lose! Not a chance! The battle begin! Just stand there! I'll take care of it. Fire You're slow.
Naruto and Sasuke fought valiantly. The tide turned, and the two began to gain the upper hand against Haku. Meanwhile, a fierce battle between Kakashi Hatake and Zabuza Momochi was unfolding. The two had each experienced countless battlefields. The tension was so thick it could be cut with a sword. Their two wills, their two techniques, clashed. A moment's weakness would spell death. I think it's about time we settled this, Kakashi. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to start getting serious now, Zabuza. Zabuza, you can't defeat me!
The tide of battle had begun to turn Kakashi's way. When the treachery of Zabuza's employer, Gato, abruptly ended the fight. Zabuza gave his life to take Gato down, and then collapsed in the snow. In completing their mission, Naruto and his friends had shown great improvement. Recognizing this, Kakashi recommended all three for the Chunin exam. The written exam, capturing the scroll, and many other tests awaited Naruto. But thanks to his indomitable will, Naruto soon made the finals. Only those singled out could participate in the final battle. Naruto was pitted against Neji Hyuga, said to be the strongest of the Genin. We are all given a destiny at birth, and it is pointless to fight against it. It is your destiny to lose to me. I don't think so! 